Hi everyone! Before we start, could you please drop me a line whether you hear me well? Okay, thank you everyone. So, hello again, my name is Anastasia and I'm glad to welcome you on today's webinar. Today, I guide you through practical sessions referring to the tasks and their solutions made through configuration so that you will be able to identify which of your tasks can be solved with the same approach. But before, let me start from the very beginning and tell a couple of words about Integros. We do business consulting, ready to use sugar add-ons, CRM system support and maintenance, and other things that you can see currently on the screen. We implemented CRM for companies from more than a dozen countries and totally sure that each company is unique since user expectations are unique in details. And we responded on this demand by providing logic builder tool that leverages sugar flexibility and helping to deliver unique user stories 10 times faster. So my today aim is to guide you through type of tasks that can be configured. I hope that this will bring you to the solution of your own tasks, and we'll see you in the club of happy Logic Builder users. So now you can see on the screen eight groups of tasks that we will address in a few minutes and during the whole webinar. You will be able to easily follow the tasks interesting for you by navigating through the letters that now you can see in the right upper corner of the screen. Each letter represents the corresponding group of tasks. Also, presentation has a bunch of um, links to the task solution and implementation. So you will be able to navigate those links and see in action how it works. At the end of the webinar, I will share with you this presentation in the handouts so you can download it. So let's start with very first group which is called Managing Sugar Data. Have you ever faced a task to distribute updates among records? You may configure it, like in our very first for today example, that whenever address is changed for account, update address for all contacts of this account, for leads, open leads for this account, and open quotes for this account. So if you would like to see how it works, you can follow the first link and spend 10 seconds to see the challenge of these tasks and three minutes to follow the second link to see how it works implemented into life. We are not limited only with creating or updating records. We can also manage the relation between records, create relation or even remove relation between two records. Like in our second example, that when contact leaves the company, exclude this contact from the opportunity contacts and create a task assigned to sales manager to review the list of contacts. If this task is interesting to you, two links below to get in details. And if you want to trigger actions automatically, instead of your team to do it manually, make CRM do it for you. Like in an example, if there is a lead that consider it as dead and system tracks an activity under this lead, for example, a node, CRM can resurrect those lead to put in forward steps to work with this lead to move it forward. And let's move forward. So uh, we all use social media. And this social media raises the bar of notifications really high. And now it is an expectation that CRM system needs those high standards of notifications as well. And to be able to keep this high standard, it must be the possibility to configure these notifications, which might be a challenge. And in case if your users want to receive notifications, that is tasks of, for configuring. Like in next example, when we created notification for user, 
when someone put a comment under activity, inactivity stream. So you can follow two links to see the challenge and how it works after implementation, because sugar notification is a great way to deliver a message to the user within CRM system. But obviously, you can use any channel, not just sugar notification. And let's face to the product catalog. If you are using out-of-the-box sugar product catalog, needless to say, it is quite important to make it up to date. For example, if you rely on quantity that uh, specified in in stock, you want to keep this quantity up to date. That is why the next example example is about updating, or to be more precise, decreasing in stock quantity in product catalog when sales rep adds product to the quote. And such control implemented via automation rather than manual updating, because it's quite important to keep promises uh, before client, to keep promises to client, because uh, in stock quantity, it's uh, actually our promises, how fast, for example, we can deliver this product. And continue speaking about products. Are you familiar with case when sales rep demands that their routing tasks um, on quote preparation must be automated. For example, when your company offers product bundles, sales rep can add product bundle to the quote, obviously. And the next steps, sales rep can manually add each item from this product bundle. But our next task is uh, about automation of this. So when sales rep select product bundle is a quote, all items will automatically inherit in those quote. And how exactly these items will be represented in quote can be configured. I mean about prices or some special discounts. So that is why we consider it the second example. And by two links, you can watch the challenge and how it works in the system. And let's continue a little bit about products. That it's quite significant, is quite significant to keep corporate sales rule, rules during sales process and keep promises to customer. When sales prepare offer to the client, this offer must be considered must consider discounts that promise it by marketing team. And either sales reps can remember these discounts or watch them in some tables, for example, or the second option make system suggest these discounts. So the next example is about actually applying, the, applying these discounts. So when product from particular vendor is added to the uh, quote, system will check whether there are any special offers on this uh, product and adds this discount to the quote automatically. So we speak about existing data, how to manage it, update, create records, but can the control of data input can be added before the data even will appear in CRM. Because I can talk about it for eternity. For maximizing data quality, it's important to alert user in the point of time when this data is inputted in the system. So when something went wrong, it's a perfect timing to say what exactly went wrong and what to do to fix this. So there is a way to add rules directly on the form. Previously, you could do this with code customization, but for now, you could configure it. So the two examples, the first one is to check whether there are opportunity contacts before moving opportunity to perception analysis stage. And the second example, even more simpler, it is just to check whether the, to be sure actually that all USA phone numbers are start with plus one code. 
so you could navigate these links to see how it works in life in implementation how the message can be showed to user what user should fix or add to move forward for example to move opportunity on the next stage let's go to the next group of tasks let me say that ability to make a decision based on information is available only for some experts but how can everyone use this experience the tenable answer is to implement this experience into system and moreover moreover implement it in a such way that expert could tune this experience so <clears throat> the next example is about that for example when note is added and this note has keywords like draft or agreement and also this note contains an attachment then system should create a new record in custom records module means that this record will contain some information what to do next for sales rep for example or for marketing team because looks like that client showed interest to the agreement and this is an experience that was implemented into system and it can be configured and let's talk a little bit about email messages and email templates most systems have email template builders but those template builders have constraints and you can remove these limitations if you have some configuration tool to build these messages and um, the first example is when sales rep close opportunity the information with full order specification is sent to engineering department this order specification may be quite complex because it contains information from variety of sources about this particular order it includes information about account contacts about opportunity itself about what was what was ordered in which quantity and also all specific to order information i mean to product information like part number weather description and so on if you would like to see how exactly this message uh, looks like you will be able to follow the second link to see in action what uh, message we will get in result or more simpler example to just to send a constant request to the lead and continue speaking about messages what if you want to compose a complex message from several pieces of messages based on some for example behavioral data for example you want to include one or other one piece of message based on how addressee reacted on something the one way is to create uh, several hundreds of messages and send one of them based on conditions but it will be a nightmare to manage all these hundreds of messages so you could create these pieces of messages and combine them in one personalized message based on some criteria using configuration like in an example of follow up participants after webinar when, when based on behavior of participant on webinar whether participant was on the whole webinar or on a part of it whether uh, participant leave some feedback for example mark and so on and also considering the previous communication history participant will receive truly personalized message that combine it from several parts of these messages so you will be able to watch this in action by two links below and now let's talk about sugar bpm it's a really powerful tool that works on high level with the whole process and it is not supposed to perform low level tasks like complex calculations and integrations with external system these tasks are usually implemented by code but with the configuration tool these low level tasks can be included in high level process 
and as benefit you will get an easy readable process because each step of this process will be represented on the screen and also each step can be configured on TUNIT when it is needed. Like the first example was uh, extended lead routing process to focus sales rep only on those leads who provide uh, true information. So the simple step is just to verify whether the email address is real. And the second example is sales business process to incorporate sales and marketing departments by applying special offers provided by marketing team on the particular products that offered by sales team. Searching those offers is quite a low level task, quite mandible. So, mandible. so uh, that is why it is configured as a one step of the whole sales process. And even more, when we are talking about the possibility to exchange with external system, it makes Sugar BPM able to manage the whole corporate logic, not limited by one tool, by one tool but through corporate system and manage process on the enterprise level. For example, managing the lead process uh, after a webinar, firstly to get all these registrants as leads and track behavior on the webinar and follow up after webinar uh, depending on how particular registrant or attendee uh, performed on the webinar. And actually exchanging with external system leads to my next point which is codeless integration with systems. If you think that only developer could integrate two systems between each other, you can actually configure it. For example, first case, again, it is to help sales rep focus only on truly reachable leads. And this example was considered in two uh, cases. The first one as a part of Sugar BPM, and we extended lead routing process. And the second was one as a standalone solution when email address was sent on verification on the external email verification service and returned response back into the CRM and to make decision for next steps based on those results from the external verification service. And to get a big picture it's uh, crucial to get information not only originated inside CRM system, but outside it as well. And actually it is possible to configure appearing these significant events inside CRM. So like in the second case for this group, the significant key event of changing client style is appeared under client in the CRM, while the actual change of this tire originated in other external system, for example, scoring system. Or, again, if we are talking about get go to webinar, we can get from go to webinar platform uh, registrants as leads inside CRM system, also get behavior data on the webinar and send custom follow-ups after the webinar. The next point is to add configuration to hard-coded behavior. It's some kind related to the external system as well. For example, let's say that you have external system that sends data into Sugar. We can ask developer to handle this process from beginning to the end to send data and describe how Sugar will treat this data. But I can say that part of this you can handle with configuration. Because, for example, if the next day holder of external system will say that some new piece of information will be sent to Sugar and you should trade this information, you will have to go to developer and apply appropriate changes. Or you can configure it. 
In the same way, like you work with Studio. For example, when user comes to you and ask to add some new field to store needed information, you go to Studio, create new field, and output those fields into the form. And in the same way here, when holder of external system says that uh, the new piece of information will come to Sugar, you just add this field and describe, configure how this new piece of information will be treated for the sugar side. Like it was changed on this example when uh, score was changed for the account and how this changing is tracked from the sugar side. And let's return to the big picture again. It will be a really big picture only when it consists of what truly matters. But the thing is that what really matters, only you can decide what has significant value and what doesn't. So you, with configuration, you can define which event is a key event to be a part of a whole big picture, to stay tuned with it. So in the first example, we collected actions that take effect on sales funnel to get known how we get to this sales funnel. And the second example is to collect key events originated outside the CRM system under client's timeline. So that was a quick overview of eight group of tasks that you can configure, avoiding direct code customization. I believe you found the challenge that you can now address using configuration tool. And speaking about configuration tool, it works with your particular instance, means that it works with customizations that already made, custom modules, custom fields. And you can get those customization inside uh, configuration tool to work with it via direct connection configuration to logic builder to share to sugar, or you can import a metadata file with custom fields and modules to work with them to build your logic. And when the design is ready, you can easily deploy it and de deliver and deploy it because it will be a usual sugar package that can be uploaded like any other sugar package. So in result, you will get easy manageable solution without coding and quite fast. So actually that is was what all what I want to show you. And as I promised it at the beginning of this webinar, now I'm going to share you in handouts this presentation. Just give a few seconds while it's uploaded. So actually it uploaded and I believe in handouts you may find this presentation to follow all links uh, that was shown today, to follow the tasks see the challenge and see how it works implemented. And if you are interested and if this solution is close to you, you can see the whole practical session and repeat it and see whether it works for you. If you have any questions or if you wonder whether your challenge may be addressed using configuration approach, approach please do not hesitate to contact me. I will be really happy to help you. Thank you very much for joining me today and have a great day. Hope to see you soon.